I'm Leanne and today I'm going to show you how to make a squirrel paper garland. I've chosen to do mine uh, ombre so I've gone from dark to light at the end. You'll need paper, scissors, a hot glue gun, and a paper cutter if you have one. You're going to cut the paper into strips. I do them about one inch wide. And so you're going to need a few of these. And when you're done, you're going to want to save um, one piece because this is what we're going to glue all the shapes onto. If you don't have a paper cutter, you can just use scissors. The first shape we're going to make is just a basic circle. So you'll cut the paper in half for this. And we're going to hot glue on the end and put it together like that. I always run my fingers along the edge of the paper to put a curl in it so it will curl easier. For this one, I'm just going to do a small circle. And then I'm going to put glue on the end and curl it around to meet up with the other one. For this one, you're going to do the same thing and when you're done, we're just going to pinch the bottom and it makes like a teardrop shape. This next one is going to be kind of like an S shape. So I'm going to curl it up and make a small loop there. And then I'm going to go the opposite way and make a bigger loop going in the opposite direction. This next one is going to be a heart shape. So I'm just folding it in half and I'm going to hot glue right in the crease. And this will just hold the shape a little bit better. And then I'm going to glue one end and pull it around and down to where I made my crease flip it over and do the same on the other side. This next one is exactly like the heart, except it's going to be uneven. So I'm doing one side shorter than the other. This next one, I'm going to do a spiral circle. So I'm going to roll my paper up really tight, hot glue the end, and then unroll it a little bit and stick it to the outside. And then I'm going to just adjust the inside so you can see the spiral shape. Now that we have all of our pieces together in all the colors that you want to use, we can go ahead and assemble this. So now you're going to want to grab that extra strip of paper that you cut in the beginning and we're going to start putting the pieces on with hot glue. And for this you basically are just going to eyeball where you want your pieces to go. There's no specific pattern. Um, having it different also every time uh, makes it more unique as well.
building onto these and make them as big as you like or as wide as you like. It's just totally your preference. So here are the finished pieces, and now we're gonna stick it together. So you're just going to hot glue one of the strips and put it together so you can put it farther apart or closer. I like it a little bit closer, but still with a gap. And I'm going from light to dark. And my general rule of thumb is just to do your colors in threes or odd numbers, you could do five. Um, and you could also do these all in one solid color as well. And there we have it. So that's it. That's all there is to it. It's pretty simple and it's a great project to do with your kids too if they like to do crafts.